to you by Audubon Jeep Dodge Ram and Chrysler, where the Viper sits high in the sky. With their road series win over Bradley this past weekend and with Missouri State coming to town 4-3 starting tomorrow, the sky appears to be the limit for the Evansville baseball team. We're putting together in all three facets of the game right now. It really is, is nice to see things come together. We're just trying to have fun out here and win a bunch of baseball games. And the University of Evansville baseball team is doing both in impressive fashion. Winners of nine of their last ten, head coach Wes Carroll's aces are off to one of the best starts they've had in years. It all starts on the hill where reigning Missouri Valley Conference pitcher of the week Shane Gray leads a staff that has been clutch for much of the season. Uh, what we're getting out of our starting pitching has been uh, has been pretty consistent and put us in a position to win ball games. The biggest thing that I'm seeing is, is we're having guys step up out of the bullpen and really bridge the gap to our closer, Jacob Meyer. This guy's the limit. Uh, we have some pretty good underclassmen that are stepping up in some big roles that I feel like we haven't had in the past, and our bullpen is looking really good this year. There is, of course, the new turf at German-American Field at Bronze Stadium, which has turned the UE defense from a question mark to an exclamation point. It brings back the fun in baseball because it doesn't take out all the question marks like oh my gosh is this ball going to hop up and hit me in the face is am I going to step in a hole and break my ankle it's consistent and I think the consistency of the field is going to help the consistency of our team we don't have to go out of town to play home games we, we get to play here all the time we get to come out here and practice on it all the time the field total game changer from what we've had before however the heart of this team is its veterans like Kenton Cruz who is currently leading the MVC in batting slugging percentage and triples and Troy Biden Smith, who is at or near the top in nearly every offensive category. Players who have battled both injury and the disappointment of seasons lost over the years to deliver this strong start. I think I've always had it in me, but it's just finding the right state of mind, the right confidence, the right approach, and the right guys around you because, you know, you can't do anything by yourself. It really, really helps with the confidence part of the game, um, knowing that they have my back and that they're going to be there for me no matter what I do. The COVID situation just kind of put me in a different perspective. It really just allowed me to say, what have I got to lose and just come out and just try to play loose and try to play free and play good baseball again. If you're seeing what we're getting out of Kenton Cruz, Troy Ballsmith, um, and just guys that have been in our program for, for many years and have been through some tough times and have been through the grind of the season can really, you know, help lead our younger guys how to navigate themselves.